Okay, this is a butterball, uh, fresh turkey. This, uh, we picked it up after Thanksgiving when the turkeys were on sale. We paid $1.29 a pound, okay? Uh, and so this is, um, uh, we picked it up on sale, which makes perfect sense. Plus, turkey is uh, very good for you. So this was a surprise, and anybody who's a canner out there gets these occasionally. When Vern finds something on sale, he'll come home with it, and I gotta get to cannon. So tomorrow morning, he's going to debone and hack this sucker up for me, and I'm going to can it. This is basically the bigger sister of ugly chicken. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow, and I'm also, because we're gonna have two carcasses of this, I'm gonna be making two large stock pots of turkey stock. So Vern found it on sale, brought it home, and my work is cut out for me tomorrow. I'm looking forward to have some canned turkey on my pantry shelves. Alrighty then, it's that wonderful time of the year known as can you worry. Due to the high cost of food, Vern was able to get a second turkey. This is November for me, by the way, and I won't be posting this till January 2023. It's 74 degrees here on the coast of South Carolina. So anywho, he has he is working on hacking up the fresh turkey for me to can. I'm using the knife to follow the bone. This knife is very sharp and it allows you to just See, the meat just fall right off the bone. Nice. Okay, I've sliced away the meat all the way to the bone now, and now I may have to, I got some kitchen scissors, but I may have to break it first, okay, to make that cut. Flip it over. And break that joint. Yeah. The claw at work. Yes, and now I can separate it with the kitchen scissors. While Vern hacks away on our turkey that we're going to can, I'm gonna go down and get a line in the water. And then I use my binoculars from the screen porch to see if my line's tight and I have a fish. It ain't hard, it's just fishing, canning, and getting it on, on the coast of South Carolina. Oh, oh, what do we have? Alrighty then, let's get to hacking all of Vern's hard work with a very, very sharp knife. Oh yeah. So this will be done exactly like we do ugly chicken. Is, boy, I will take out the pieces Vern deboned for me and I will set them into chunks and I'm going to choose, I think, to do pint jars, as I usually do. And I'll make them a little chunky monkeys. It ain't hard, it's just canning. I can make pot pies with this. I can do anything I want with it because I can cook. So I'll get this done, we'll get our jars out. And did I mention, no, I don't think I did. While Vern was doing this, I got a line out in the water with a mullet steak on the end. And here it is the end of November, okay? But I'm on a tidal creek. And the mullet had been jumping out there and the ladyfish. Anywho, I done caught me within 10 minutes putting that line out, a 20 inch gorgeous redfish who I set free because I do not want to skin another thing today. There is a limit to how gross I can get in one day. So I'm focusing on canning turkey, just like ugly chicken, but it's turkey. Because it's January, don't you know? All right. All righty then, I've chopped up the breast and I'm gonna get them in a jar. It ain't hard, it's just canning and I do not add any salt. Uh, salt is not a preservative, it's just for flavor. So don't get it twisted and you will mess up your kitchen floor doing this 
my kitchen is a mess. And one of the most difficult but important things to do doing this is Vern sanitizes our sink because that's where he starts out with um, opening the turkey from the bag. This was a fresh turkey is because it is a poultry. We're going for one and a quarter inch. Oops. See there? I should have put my funnel on. Ain't the end of the world. One and a quarter inch headspace that they started in 2019 with changing the rule. Okay, so I'm gonna get the rest of my jars done. Ain't hard, it's just canning. Alrighty then, I have sanitized everything that I use from a scissor to a knife. And something I don't think we talk about a lot is a dish towel. So we've gone through five dish towels this morning. Uh, we used one as Vern was getting the turkey out of the bag, getting out the neck and those kind of things. Uh, so that one goes straight in the washer. We used another one as he was at the sink after he was uh, breaking his carcass up. So I don't wanna be spreading uh, salmonella or anything around my kitchen. It's as simple as just washing these. I have a bunch of them. They're not a showpiece, they're dish towels. So, um, there's no harm in having too many. And when it is moist and when you've used it a lot, chunk it in your washer for the next wash cycle. Now, I'll wash these and this apron in a boiling hot water uh, cycle by itself today. So once I get through them all, then I'm gonna run a load. It'll just be a small one. And then of course they go in the dryer, but don't be afraid to use too many dish towels. Uh, you know, as they're hanging there or sitting there next to your sink and moist, they're just, you know, an area to breed bacteria. So I have plenty of them. They're not to look purty, they're to use. Alrighty then, let's get to Pokey Joey. Alright, we ended up with six pints of our turkey. I'm going to put the lid on it and then I have the small Presto canner. I've checked my rubber ring around it. I've checked everything is tight on it. So the first thing we'll do is vent it for 10 minutes. And because these are pints, they are going to process for 75 minutes. Alrighty, we have the steady vent steam, or steam, what do you call that? Okay, so we had a steady stream of steam for 10 minutes, so I have put the weighted gauge on. I, of course, have a dial gauge, but we're going to wait till we come up to about 11 pounds, and then I'll start my processing time, or all right, so we have reached our time. We've got our timer going. I have, and I have my cheat sheet, right? I got to process 75 minutes when my vent time started, then my processing time, and I've got a timer going as well. So I just like a little backup. Six pints to go into the pantry after they sit here for 24 hours. So here it is in its natural habitat. And notice it made its own turkey stock or juice just like Ugly Chicken did. It ain't hard, it's just canning. <laughs> 